uh, moral, the whole justice system is based on this assumption, okay? There would be no courts if we were not responsible for our own actions. That's This was the argument of the, the liberals, and that's why they made their point to mention this, you know? There would be no blame on anyone. Like, you know, when Sam Harris makes his moral arguments, for example, he makes a, and those who follow him and are determinists like him, they say, this person was so bad to me, you know, this person was that, like, this person so horrible, religion is so bad. Why are you making all these arguments? Yeah. These people are not responsible for their actions on your worldview. Mm -hmm. I had an argument with one uh, young man in uh, Oxford University, young Buck who keeps changing his mind on certain opinions. And he keeps, you know, complaining about how my behavior is. He makes video here, makes video there, upset about this, you know, triggered and upset. And you cut him off. Yeah, cut him off. And, you know, it's uh, obviously there's some kind of looking up to me and stuff like that. It's very natural stuff. No problem. But, you know, he makes these videos saying, oh, look, you know, he done this and he recited the Quran like that and whatever, whatever the complaints he had. Why are you blaming me if you're a determinist? You should blame the uninterrupted causal line of events, which caused me to do these things for no cause of my own, no plan of mine. I didn't do this. It was the uninterrupted causal line. Sam Harris, uh, Francis Zahabi, one time, he said, it's very interesting. Well, like, he said, Sam Harris wrote a book called, uh, what was it called? Free Will. Was it called Free Will? Waking Up. No, 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 no oh, Free Will. Oh, yeah, on no. The, the, his book on the determinism one, not the moral landscape, the Free Will one, where mm -hmm. he talks about Free Will. And at the bottom of it, he wrote Sam Harris. Why are you why are you taking responsibility for the book? You know, when actually it was an uninterrupted causal line that we should yeah, you had no say in the matter. It was you being forced in a sense into compulsion and necessity to write the book. Why I don't understand why determ just this is the worst kind of contradiction. I don't understand why determinist atheists who do not believe in human free will have the audacity <laughs> to come to human beings and blame them for anything. It wasn't my fault. Everything, according to this worldview, was because of an uninterrupted causal line, which forced and compelled me to this. You know, just to add to that, they are so loud about human rights. Yeah, human rights is like, you know, pronouns and uh, feminism and all this stuff. But it's all meaningless <laughs> under Absolutely. determinism. Absolutely. Uh, uh, oh. Um, you know, I'm just determined to be, you know, to not care about these things. Okay, you're determined to care about them. It's just, yeah. and, and, and you know, I, I think this is a good segue to bring in your research about uh, uh, doing your master's on um, how moral issues are seen as so important. They, they're more important than the scientific issues, other issues. Yet those moral things become completely irrelevant if to take determinism absolutely I know, exactly. the, 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 the new atheist the new atheist project one of its main um, kind of arguments against religion is moral yeah but if half of them are saying that we're determinists i know daniel dennett doesn't believe in that he had an argument with harris so i'm not saying all that but someone like harris he's a complete hypocrite sam harris is a complete hypocrite because why is sam harris challenging religion on moral bases when in fact, morality, or at least individual responsibility, is totally suspended on a deterministic worldview. A human being on determinism is not responsible for their behavior. A human being on determinism is a puppet. Yes, they are puppet. Yeah. And that which is puppeteering them is the uninterrupted causal line of events. So for someone like this, Sam Harris and co, who are cowards, yeah, because they will never yeah, come forward and debate anyone on these matters, and they're having debates only among their own little echo chambers, how on earth and how dare they come out and challenge religion on a basis like this? This is a clear-cut contradiction, which I, I'm, I'm actually shocked hasn't been called out and he's, he's had conversations with intellectuals like Jordan Peterson and uh, others, you know? Yeah. Why hasn't anyone, like Ben Shapiro maybe even, yeah. like, oh, come on, Ben Shapiro, you're going to be a, the a theist. Or a the Tell him, point it out. Are you, I mean, have you not understood this? Determinism is you are not responsible for your own behavior. <laughs> come on. And, 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 you know, um, when you see these de hard determinists trying to explain themselves and trying to explain why they believe in punishment, 
why they believe in accountability, why they believe in the justice system or morality or any of these types of things, you find that they're just playing semantical games. They really do not accept hard determinism, mm. although they just label themselves. Oh, because they're consequentialists. Yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. well, how are you going to be a consequentialist determinist? Yeah. Well, you're, you're, you're giving us like a welfare, you know, consequentialist, and then you're a determinist, so everything is like it's everything yeah. now. You're, it's, you're, your, your, your silly train uh, idea. <laughs> Why is this? It's unbelievable. These, guys, these are the intellectuals of the day. Yeah. You don't realize, subhanAllah, you know, the Islamic world has been dealing with this question for 1,300 years. They, they pretend they came to the party and they realized all this stuff, all this stuff, and no one, no one before them. But you know, like, like the old saying, uh, there's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. Yes. It's, I mean, they're primitive in their thinking because yeah. what they're doing is they, yeah. they're kind of like, the answer is B, and we're like, no, we're asking you a philosophical question. <laughs> As in, uh, you are uh, so uh -huh. so petty. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, just like this. Do you know these people, these new atheists? Because they don't. A lot of them don't even believe in theologies and subject. Yeah. That's what uh, Dawkins said. Dawkins, yeah. And a lot of them have a disdain for philosophy. Like, for example, the uh, Krauss. Yeah. And that's why he was humiliated by uh, Pigliucci in his, yeah. that, in that yeah, lecture yeah, yeah, yeah. by telling him, "Look, you know, these are things." And he's supposed to be a new atheist. A new well. atheist. Bro, the, the, the worst thing is, what the issue is, they refuse to stand on the shoulders of that giants. Or they refuse the fact that people before them were intelligent have, as well. Bro, not only intelligent, but they have dealt with their issues, shown a contradiction in their reasoning, and have a, a whole legacy to show what kind of contradictions we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, Sam Harris's views on determinism and consequentialism are so contradictory that actually it actually makes me angry, brother. Yeah. Well, it actually makes me angry that some atheists are going around and actually copying his style makes yeah. me angry a lot. Yeah, yeah, and even um, and just a segue, um, his debate with Craig, William Lane Craig, right? Yes. There's some debates that what you do is after the debate, the most respectable thing is you just take off your coat and uh, you go work in a 7-Eleven or a petrol station and that's it. The, that's it. It's, there's no point carrying on. That's so right. like the debate with David Wood, where he decided to carry on. The debate with Sam Harris, he decided to carry on. When actually anybody that watches that debate, I'm being honest with you guys, I don't think I've ever seen an atheist <laughs> lose that badly. Yet still, if you watch every single one of his replies, he's he, he's he's basically doing emotivism. He's trying to still... Yeah, well, that's why he's retired, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, why do you think he's retired from debating? He's retired from debating because, and now he's going on spiritualism. Yeah. Talking about spiritualism yeah, he's and lost, yoga he's, he's, and this and that. Lost the plot. Bro, let me, let's be honest with him. Yeah? I'm, I want this message to Sam Harris. And someone send this to him. Maybe one of the guys. Cut yeah, this out. Did, send cut this out. Yeah, and send it to him. Yeah. Listen, Sam. We know that you're trying to be a spiritualist because you have a spiritual void. Yeah. You have a spiritual void because, Sam Harris, you are an atheist. And not only are you an atheist, but you are a determinist suffering from cognitive dissonance because somehow you're a consequentialist as well. These are incompatible. That's right. These are incompatible philosophical postulations. Mm -hmm. Consequentialism assumes that you have um, you have volition and you have free will, whereas determinism completely denies that. So you go in now to be a spiritualist and helping people breathe and this and that and think of depression, leaving depression. You will not be able to do that because you have already determined that there is a limit to our existence, and that is the empirical naturalistic limit. Therefore, you trying to be a spiritualist of some an atheist guru of some sorts is as joke as a joke as Hitler trying to be an advocate for the anti-Semitic uh, for the anti-Semitic party. Don't try it, my friend. Yeah, and you're trying to give people an alternative. You realize that people require the spirit. Bro, it's an admission. Well, no, not only this. It's an admission you, you, that people you, need the spirituality. Yeah, yeah, you bang on about science and how Western world came up with science and how science is the way that we should be trying to understand the world. Yeah. This is the new atheist narrative. Yeah. And at the same time, yeah. you're talking about spirituality, which has no scientific basis absolutely, at bro. all. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, spirituality. Yes, yeah, absolutely. 